In this tutorial, we're going to look at the quiz creation tool. The quiz tool can be used to create and administer online quizzes and surveys. There are varieties of different types of quizzes, question types, and quiz options. To create a quiz, first choose a course. And I'm going to go to the course that we've been using. Go over to the, to the left and click Quizzes. Any of your unpublished quizzes are available for you to see here. In order to create a brand new quiz, click Create New Quiz. Here is where you name your quiz. Here's where you put your quiz instructions. Under this area here is where you can tell whether you want a practice quiz that, that doesn't gets graded but it doesn't count, a graded quiz, a graded survey, or an ungraded survey. Your assignment group is defaulted to your assignments. You can shuffle up the answers to avoid cheating. Time limits, that can also benefit you because um, this way it will limit the, the time that they attempt to research answers. Um, allow multiple attempts at, at getting it right. Um, it's defaulted to let students see their quiz responses also allows them to show which answers were correct. You can restrict the quiz and show one question at a time if you wanted to, or show them all. Now here, this quiz is going to be designed for anyone enrolled in this specific class. I'll pick a due date of August 20th, and it's available from the 1st to the 20th. and then go ahead and click Save. So now we've named our quiz and, and told Canvas what type of quiz we want. Okay. At this point you can click on Questions and we can actually get started on creating some questions. Let's click on New Question. For the questions, you can choose whether it's going to be multiple choice, true or false, fill in the blank, fill in multiple blanks, multiple answers, uh, matching, numerical questions, formula questions, essay questions. Um, so let's click on multiple choice and see how this works. What is the question? We're going to say, um, Question number one. The green means this is the correct answer. And we're going to type none of these answers. So I'm going to fill in different answers that aren't correct. You can have as many answers as you want. You can just click create, add another answer. I'll have one more. Okay, now click Update Question. Okay, where was the Seven Years' War fought, as you can see? Okay, so after we do that, if we go to Settings. From here, we can click Save again. Now that I clicked Save, I have the ability to publish it or preview it. If you publish it now, it will be available 
for your students who are enrolled in your class to take as long as it's unlocked and the dates match.